So Wobian Corde is a 22 year old male who, for only having, having one album out, this one, is a very solid rapper. Uh, the Lost Boy is an album based on self-reflection. He wrote it for himself, but he hopes others can use it to improve upon themselves. It starts out on winter time. Beautiful little beat here with like trumpets and shit, nice little vocal sample. And when Corday comes in, he snaps. We all got skeletons in our closet from a shady past. So obviously a little reference to M's cleaning out my closet there. With a little double Eric Andre with the shady past. Yeah. You know, Eminem is shady. That's, I that was quite clever. Um, the track's basically him just showing us like what he can do. And there is some good ass content in here. He's got some like nice flows, wordplay. He's got a few lines that sound really cool. Um, Whoever said shit was easy forever lied. I mesmerized how simple decisions can jeopardize. When Martin Luther King cheated and stared in Coretta's eyes, this is lyrical exercise. Told my idols to step aside. That is hard. Uh, he also mentions previously struggling with drug addictions. Uh, he says he's rapping like he's got something to, something to prove. Because motherfucker, I do. So I like that. He, he kind of, like he obviously recognizes that it's his first album. But he, he has to put in the hard yards now to make a name for himself. Um, I like that. It just shows like motivation a lot more. Uh, Have Mercy is just a hard track with like a, a flute melody. And he's snapping just to show he can. Like he goes off in verse 2. Um, he really speeds it up as well. Uh, loose, lick, loose lips sink ships. Cameron pink drip. That is my fashion. Uh, Street Lord is just like a little skip. It's like over a minute in length and he's just singing the first four lines of have mercy and he's actually a really good singer as well i do want to play that like this is the boy with a lisp he's so talented yeah he, he only sings a few times in the album i don't know if it was just so that he could concentrate on rapping and show everyone that he's like worth something in that respect but I am looking forward to more projects from this man. I'm hoping he does sing a little bit more. Uh, Bad Idea features Mr. The Rapper. And the only good thing he's done all year. There's a couple of like good lines from Corday that just slap. Uh, it, it, this one actually it really shows how fluid he is. It's got like two rhyme switches in it. Uh, heart pure, never tainted with fame. Straight ahead, I'ma stay in my lane. Never switching courses, life's amazing, shit is gorgeous. Looking at the bigger picture, portrait, and I smile wide. Perform the crowd, and the song, and the crowd cried. And uh, Chance is also pretty good. I won't really quote anything, just because he doesn't have too much that slaps. But his thing is like, uh, it starts off, I've been around the world four times looking for parking. And he's got like that... That funny voice, voice. Yeah. yeah but no nah, he, he was pretty good like that's it's a, it's a low bar but it's the best thing he's done this year um and corday sings in the chorus in this track as well one of the genius comments made made me laugh it was in all caps this neighbor can sing that that, that gave me a giggle um thanksgiving is a song about him bringing a troublesome girl home and the chorus fucking slaps um the next track features Anderson Pack called RNP, short for Rich Neighbor Problems. I didn't really like this one too much. I thought Anderson flopped, but the two of them do have good chemistry together. Broke as Fuck is one of the hardest hitting bangers I've ever heard. It's got like six producers on it, and it just fucking goes. Like, I love just like the deep piano keys. This is hard. That's some heavy shit. A thousand words is about how sucky social media can be. Like, you know, the classic picture is worth a thousand words. Uh, he's got a few cool lines in the first verse. Um, these aren't like in the right order. There's other lines like in between these. I've just cut all the fat and kept the, the best juicy bits. Um, I think we all want to be a little Instagram famous. Deep down inside, nobody really want to be nameless. Sitting on this phone for hours, feel my brain getting rotten. But what's really important is such a silly distortion. We all stuck in this matrix trying to hide our misfortunes. Which is a very mature way of looking at it. 
Uh, and in the second verse as well, he talks about guys just trying to flex anything they can to make it look like they have more money than they actually do have. Uh, these neighbors capping with lies, how they capitalize, creating their own perceptions. What a massive facade. Uh, he also mentions how crazy brands are getting using the internet, which is true. Like, it's it's pretty wild what they're doing. Um, the next track, Way Back Home, I think really shows how big this fella's balls are. Like, this boy here got a tight dollar sign feature and was like, nah, I got the chorus. Just at first, is good. Boom. Like, for buddy Ty Dollar Sign, that's wild. Uh, skipping forward a few songs, Nightmares Are Real features Pusha T. Uh, for context, Corday has the first verse and starts it with, I can tell you how I first started in this rap shit. Um, Pusha's verse was actually the only collab on this album that didn't happen in person. Everything else was done like in person in the studio. And Pusha actually responded with this verse in only three hours. So Corday said, like, here's the song. And three hours later, Push was like, here's my verse. Boom. All done. Uh, Family Matters is a beautiful song that, like, it has to be written by someone who's, like, 45. There's no way a 22-year-old man here has done this. Um, I got an auntie who'd be raising her daughter's kids. She's 46. One is one, one is two, others four and six. Baby daddy ain't really with that supportive shit. I come to town iced out with the foreign drip. I got another cousin, she the same age as me. Our lifestyle is completely different and basically, her baby dad beat her ass, what I hate to see. Her black eye as I cried, it's a daily thing. Here I am, chasing dreams, ignorant with bliss, worrying about plays and streams. Craziest part is, they don't even say a thing. He does talk a lot more about the fucked up shit that his family is like going through. Uh, he knows that his auntie's husband is cheating and he's got another kid out there somewhere. He's got a drug addicted cousin, another aunt who's a prostitute. And he ends verse two with, because I've done been through a lot, my family goes through worse. Crying on this airplane, how I wrote this verse. They be suffering in silence, now don't tell me. Oh, they be suffering in silence, they don't tell me a thing. All they tell me is neighbor, go excel in your dreams. And that is just some beautiful writing. It's incredibly mature for someone so young. And he shows like a lot of promise. He ends the entire album by saying, Rappers is jokes, I'm a musician. None of these neighbors want smoke with me. Hope, so hopefully my flow will breed some rappers with actual potency. Spit hot lava erode this beat, my God. Which is fucking hard. Like this, a lot of songs in the comments that I've been reading... So many people saying, this man's different. Like, I don't really know what it is. He's just different to other, like, rappers. Like, I know I've reviewed a lot of albums from, like, classic drip things. Like, Lou the Human, for example. He's got a song about, like, mental health and, like, family shit. But there's just something about this guy. Like, the level of maturity, I guess, where he's looking at a situation. You can just tell, like, he's he's got a lot of potential. Like... The fact that he's only 22 and this is his first ever album, like, where's he going to go from here? Like, I I cannot wait. So, IDK's album is probably better, but contextually, this one is better. So, yeah, I cannot wait for more projects from this fella. He 100% deserves my number one spot.